Morning guys, well we took a bus ride, I was going to video it but the problem was there were so many people on the bus I couldn't even move my arms properly but that's the way it is over here. Um, where are we today Sandra? Albia. Oh we're at Albia. Um, I'll turn you around in a minute and show you what we're looking at. Just hang on. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Calpe over there. I think it must be with that big rock standing up. Have a look around this way. There's a lovely place here. One of the things is it's got a pebble beach. Yeah, pebble beach, unfortunately. It's the only thing that lets it down. Right the way around, I'll show you. Right the way around. Come to the hills on the other side. I can't see a lot because the sun's shining on the. That's better. You can see them. They've got houses built in there. And there we have it. I don't know if you can see, but in the middle of the screen, I hope, is something way out there. Don't know. I thought it was a sandbank, but it can't be. There's all things on it. No idea what it is. And then back round, and there we have Calpe Rock. It's quite a popular place to go. Last time Sandra and I were here, we was feeding, eating over there on one of these restaurants here and we had a torrential downpour and I mean torrential <laughs> and it was coming in the roofs it was coming in everywhere where we was eating and it, that road back there that I've just passed that one there was a river and we're going to cross over and try and find somewhere to have a drink and get a taxi we're hoping to go somewhere which i will tell you about if we get there okay guys well we've had something to eat uh something to drink i should say uh, sandra has well done and ordered a taxi um so we're going to go and try and get a taxi up to the old church if we can get there <laughs> yeah it's all an adventure isn't it yeah anyway if we can get there i will do some videoing and show you it's quite a quite a lot of touristy people go up there, including us. So <laughs> catch you later. We've had lunch. And we are now going to have a little walk around and see what's inside the church if we can. And I'll try and do a bit of video. So catch you in a minute. We're going to go and have a look at this church. Um, if I remember the name, I'll put it on the screen later. Beautiful looking thing. See, go way up. It's got massive doors on it. Massive. No, I have to go around this way because it's steps and I can't get up. Let's go around here. Look at this. Fantastic. To the top. Right, we're going to go in this way.
Did you always come in for candles as well? This majestic church, built over a hundred years ago, with the money that was collected by the 5,690 people residing in the village at that time, a symbol of the city that all the neighbours feel very proud of. Zoom in a bit. Now we're looking from the main entrance straight down the middle of the church. Nice place. Right, we're going to move on and find somewhere else now. Right, we're now going to go up to a viewpoint. A bit of Spanish art for you here. I don't know whether it looks pornographic to me, but probably not. It certainly looks that way. Must stop saying okay, guys. <laughs> right, I'll bring you around slowly, I'll tilt you upwards. I don't know if you're going to see that on the actual video, but round to the right of that little mountain now, the horizon. on right on the horizon is Benidorm. Whether you can see that or not, I don't know. But this is the viewpoint what we've got from here. Nice marina down there. Around. I 
see if I can zoom in a little bit, give you a better look. Not so nice weather-wise today, still warm, but it's um, very cloudy, overcast. I'll try and zoom in, you can see Benidorm over the background there, all the high-rise. for the video and for a little while because Pete's hurting. Let's have a wee wander down here and see what's round this corner. This is, I think, the fourth year we've been to Benidorm and the fourth time we've been up here because we always like to come here. And this is the first time it's been all overcast. It's not by any means cold, but it is very cloudy today. Gosh, look at the big mountain through there, through that gap. Gosh, you can climb up there. There's a gentleman there playing some nice music on his guitar. Sounds lovely. That um, snack we had there, it was some tapas bits and I had to tostadas which is all, it's like a kind of traditional Spanish breakfast. It's like a bit of baguette with fresh chopped tomatoes on it and some olive oil and I had a little bit of parma ham. I thought to myself, oh no, I don't really fancy that, but it was really was very delicious actually. I'm glad I got that. Look at this tree. Bit of a tree geek, I do like a tree. Let's see what's over here. There we go. Typical little Altia Street. Have a look up here. This is like in, in one of the kind of old movies where you see someone running away from someone else, they're baddie chasing them, and they're jumping from run, one rooftop to another. You just imagine that here. <laughs> Let's go in the corner and see what's there. See in a second. It's a street we've never been down here before. And look at this, how cool this is. This is all the bins behind there. But they've got old pictures of Altea. I mean, look at that one. Obviously, back in the day, that's how they would get about the horse and carts. Wow. Look at that. Eh? So, not only does it give you the history and pictures of what it used to be like, it's also doing a job of hiding the bit ugly bins. Well, there we go. So you've got all these wee streets and you've got little clothing boutiques, jewellery, things that are unusual. Mm, can you smell incense walking along here? Another restaurant up there. Can smell seafood. So, I'm going to stop you now until we get down to the next bit. Found. Let's see if I can go this way. See the beautiful big mountain in the background. You can hear Pete talking to someone in the background about his beagle. Well, that's a good view. Oh, and you always check him out, getting all lingo. Let's see where he is. Come on, senor. <laughs>
Bounty at the top of the Mediterrano. Um, the time lapse you saw just previous, <laughs> this wasn't running, and I had the camera set up for the time lapse right by the fountain. <laughs> Halfway through the time lapse, the fountain come on, so we got wet. But never mind. Changes colour and everything else. Quite nice. Come around the top of the Mediterranean here and you see the old tree. Sandra's and it is old. Tree. Sandra's tree we call it. <laughs> and that's all lit up. I don't know whether it's gonna show up on the video, but it is all all lit up. And we are gonna go down here. I don't know where, but down there is where we're going. And I mean that way. Just going for a little walk and a ride up through the main street in the old town. I think this might be what they call Gin and Tonic Street. Well, some of the reckons it could be called Gin and Tonic Street. I don't know why. Well, because of all the Gin and Tonic bars. All right. Actually, I'm sure it's a nice view to turn around by. Where you going? It's a nice view if you turn round. Oh, all right. I'm going to turn you around down the street, guys, so you can see. Apart from my the crutch on my scooter. Well, there you go. There's the main road up the centre there. Not bad at all. Let's see what we can find while we're up here. Okay, we're going to go for a walk down the actual sea front yeah. and we'll see what it's like. They spent a lot of money on the lights and put new lights in, new posts and everything along this part, which is the Levante Beach that leads you up to the old town. It's, um, Gotta be careful, we've got a lorry coming at me. As you can see, the. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's picking it up. Oh, yeah. On the camera, there are a couple of lights up on top of that building. Right, onwards and upwards. The sea, I don't know if you can see the sea. Or not. It's quite rough. There's quite a lot of waves, heavy waves coming in, which is not like it here. It's usually flat as a pancake, but never mind. Let's go. enough, it's not windy though, is it? There's not windy at the wind. moment, no. I have to admit though, this is the first time I've been to Benadol and I've felt cold and I have tonight, I don't know why that should be but there you go, that's what it is. The locals are all wrapped up with woolen jumpers on and coats and of course us uh, Brits are hard, we come out with nothing on, we freeze. I think the alcohol keeps most people uh, warm in this area. Ooh, that was a bit of a lump. This hotel here, in front of me, stood... It Marcello was, Beach. Yeah, Marcello Beach is... It just opened this season and it stood as a derelict place for years and for some reason they run out of money they started to do it up then apparently they run it out of money um, but now they've finished it it's a nice hotel i don't know how many rooms it's got but it's a lot of them face the sea or the beach which is quite nice see down here 
take you across the bay, you can see the lights on the far side of Romantic. The orange glow is the actual lighting that they're putting. It won't show on the camera, but the pink lights above, a bit of a shade of pink. And they've got blood lights on the beach, obviously, as you can see. All the, well, I say not all the bars are open at this time of night. I mean, it's what time? Let me check. It's coming up to 10 o'clock. A couple of minutes to go to 10 o'clock. And still bars open wherever you want to go. No problem at all on the seafront. Burger Kings. There's KFC that's one street over and there's all sorts of different things. Burger King always looks busy as a rule. I don't know where it is tonight, probably make me look a liar tonight. What I find fascinating with Benidorm is they have supermarkets open one, two o'clock in the morning. If you want to go and buy a bag of crisps somewhere, you just go to a supermarket. And at that time of the morning, it's weird. Really strange. No, tonight, I knew it. Tonight, there is nobody in Burger King. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, dear. Never mind. These lights look lovely, don't they? Yeah, they certainly do. It's a shame that it won't show up quite so well on the video, but they've certainly improved it. I always think that that's where Pete was favourite bar when he seen the lady doing a sexy dancing and she waved to him. Made his night. Nice day. But anyway, it looks nice that one all lit up. <laughs>